Welcome back to Houston Life. It is Hispanic Heritage Month, and did you know more than 42% of small businesses in our region are Hispanic owned? And Hispanics are two times more likely to start a business than any other demographic group. Today, Mel Camp is taking us to 59 in Hillcroft to explore one such business, Sweets by Belen. She's a woman on a mission. To make Houston sweeter. <laughs> Meet Belen Bailey, eighth grade Spanish teacher turned baker and owner of Sweets by Belen. At this dessert boutique in Golfton, get ready to drool over cakes and treats made with a nod to Belen's childhood home. I am from Peru. I moved to Houston 20 years ago and I was a school teacher uh, for 15 years and then one day I was crazy enough to uh, decided to open um, this store. That's right. It hasn't always been rainbow cheesecakes and unicorn cakesicles for Belen. Getting into this dessert business full time was certainly no cake milk. I wasn't allowed to be in the kitchen. Can you believe that? Why did your mum not want you cooking and baking? It is kind of painful and a long story. But um, my grandmother was a maid in Peru, and she just didn't want us to have that life that my grandmother had. So she said, you are going to school. And so Belen did just that, which is how she got into teaching. But cakes were always calling. So I was missing my mom's desserts and my grandmother's desserts. And I couldn't find that those desserts here in Houston. So I said, well, I will start making it. This is how I started. You know, and I was selling all these sweets in the school. <laughs> you know, so I had a small fridge, you know, in my room, and the teachers were knocking the door. Miss Bailey, do you have those little cookies? They're so good. So I was, you know, I was a dessert dealer since I, I don't know, since I was a, a high school teacher. Belen bakes inspired by her roots and works off recipes passed down through her grandmother and mother. I was calling my mom pretty much every single day. Mom, how do you make, you know, the alfajores, these wonderful cookies? And she said, well, I don't have a recipe because your grandmother didn't have a recipe either, but you put, you know, a pinch of this, a cup of that, but it's not really a cup, it's just maybe a handful, you know, so what I was doing, I was making my own recipe with everything that my mom told me and I was playing in the kitchen. This is our best dessert and we really don't have a recipe. They say the secret ingredient is love, but maybe here it's dancing. Yes, it is. <laughs> I didn't realize how important it was to have you know, all the flavors that I grew up with, like passion fruit, fresh mangoes, guava, coconut, and we just make amazing and delicious desserts, you know, with the aromas and flavors from Peru and Latin, our, our my Latin culture. I am an immigrant from Peru, and I work uh, very hard every single day, like everybody else, you know, to make a, a better life you know, for, me and my family. And this is a uh, women owned and women run, you know, it's 100% uh, operated by women. Why has that been important for you to support women in business? You know, my grandmother didn't have that opportunity. And as a woman of color, I want to give that opportunity to other women that look like me, you know, and they speak like me and they, you know, have all this talent. What do you think your grandma would say if she oh, saw this? Oh my God, I hope one day when I reunited with her and see, she will be happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be crying. <laughs> Super touching, and her treats are delicious. Again, Sweets by Belen, very easy to find. 59 in Hillcroft, that is the Golfton area. It's on the inbound uh, feeder road of 59. It is absolutely lovely. It is delicious, too. If Belen's baked goods looked familiar <laughs> to some of you eagle-eyed Houston Life viewers, when we celebrated Courtney's birthday back in August, the cake was from Sweets by Belen. It's one of my favorite places and was honored to have that on my birthday. She always does really beautiful cakes. We've used her several times, we so have. thanks, Belen.